how did you actually prepare for the conceptual questions? Um, so the first thing I did was I took their study guide from the actual website, the subjects that they said would definitely be on the exam, and I Googled the, the definitions for each one. And oh, what else did I do? I Googled the definitions. I went through your lectures and anything that I had a problem understanding, I would go to another YouTube video. Um, the Michelson uh, lectures were really helpful in understanding just concepts, concepts mostly. Okay, awesome. Now that you took the FE and you realized there were a lot of conceptual questions, if you had to go back and redo this, how would you prepare for the conceptual questions? So actually, uh, Pranitha, I'm not sure if I said her name incorrectly, but um, she gave me a really awesome tip, which was to look at my specs for my exam. And a lot of what they said in the specs, like if I just wrote down the definition of it, I really was able to answer a lot of the conceptual questions. Like th there was a lot, like in the environmental, it mentioned like something random, like eutrophication in your specs. And I wrote down the definition for that and I literally got a question on it. So like, I think that's the biggest thing is if you want to tackle the conceptual portion is you print out your specs and you just go through what every single term is like asking. It sounds tedious, but like when I went through every single term, I knew the definition of it or I knew like just a simple equation for what that was. That really helped for all the conceptual questions that I wish I knew the first time because definitely I know the conceptual is definitely a lot of what people struggle with. Yeah. Yeah, she, she, she actually mentioned the same uh, tip when, when she was preparing for FG exam, that's what she did. Uh, to yeah, that was, that, yeah. Was, that was a really great tip for me to know. Yeah, the, yeah, so, the, and I started recommending it to students to like, you know, mm -hmm. make sure that you guys look up the word, just go to Google, look it up, the, look up the definition of the words yeah. and the specifications. Um, yeah. And yeah, we're getting a lot of like feedback from that, that it has helped a lot of students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause definitely like you mentioned earlier, like when I wanted to take the exam and I had no air pollution class yet, like I, I couldn't learn a whole class, like semesters worth of material. So you just kind of had to like focus, like what is the exam actually asking for? And just go off of there, yeah. so. Yeah, that's true. Now, did you have a lot of conceptual questions on the FE? Yeah, this time uh, there were a lot of conceptual questions like before, I mean, in the past two times. Okay, now how did you prepare for them? How did you study for conceptual questions? Like last time I have like, a little bit confused about determined and indeterminate structure, you know, zero force member. And more small things, I was not clear. After I taking your course, I was I have a more clear picture how to attend those questions. So I, I really like this conceptual, you know, question because, uh, like, it's, it's it's easier if you know it, you can answer, you know, in in a in one second. But if it's it's better than you know calculating a you know one page questions because it takes it's eating up your time. So. Yeah. yeah, it's funny because actually a lot of the students don't look, don't like conceptual questions, but here you are like saying you actually prefer conceptual questions, which makes sense because, you know, like they're much faster to answer. But I think what's really tricky about conceptual questions is like, how do you prepare for them? And I think that's what a lot of people struggle with. Like, how do you study for the conceptual questions? And what I'm getting from you is that you, you just like, you just focus on learning and trying, like as you're doing the problems, you really learn and grasp the concepts and that really helps you answer those conceptual questions. Is that, is that? Right? Yeah, I believe you go through a hundred percent, like on each or every kind of, you know, scenario of the question you're gonna get. So uh, you covered almost hundred percent, like after taking your, your course, I don't feel like, like oh cancer didn't cover that thing and you always expect like five questions are you know from somewhere else you have no clue 
it's like once they ask about some of the act, some some ASTM code, and I have no idea. So okay, I didn't answer that. But you went through all the you know structural engineering stuff, all the fluid mechanics stuff. So I have little little concept. And and after taking a course, there was nothing new for me. So I think you cover very well everything, all the topic. You have everything. Kind of complete course. I'm I'm kind of glad like I took this course. Now, do you have any closing remarks for engineers who are trying to pass the FE exam? I would say don't give up. Definitely put your time in it to it, put your effort into it. Um it will be a wise decision to keep taking it, even if you keep failing, just keep taking it, just change your study method and definitely look into going through all the questions answering all the ones you can and then going back and answering the ones that you have an idea that could be right yeah keep trying don't lose hope and like after 20 years 22 years after graduation if i can pass it anybody can pass it so yeah keep trying yeah so i think definitely you just you want to go into it being confident like it it does it does really suck when you fail the test a couple times and you just you feel like you gave it your all and you didn't pass so I just feel like it's important to just see past that and just see that you know you may have gave it your all but just because you did doesn't mean like you are going to pass like you have to be uncomfortable and comfortable with learning new like techniques and how you study and just kind of like not psyching yourself out if like, oh, like I told myself I was gonna study like five hours today, but I only studied three, like, oh, like, am I still gonna be able to pass? Like you still gotta know your own pace when you need a rest. And definitely just, I think the biggest thing for me was just not focusing on how other people like studied and passed, like just learning all these different ways and seeing what's the best way for me, because, I just think when I focus more on what I did wrong, which I felt was really unconventional to what a lot of people felt like they did wrong. Like I focused on myself and then I just like to test one more time and passed. So that was like my biggest thing. It's just focusing on myself. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for being part of Engineer community. Now, if there's anything that resonated with you in this interview, make sure to share with us on Facebook, Instagram, or you can just leave it in the comments below. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe for new videos every week. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Yeah,